From a catastrophic storm in North Carolina that destroyed this school's gymnasium, and a reckless stunt in Bangladesh that saw this fighter jet bouncing off the runway, to a workplace mishap in Spain that set this factory ablaze in a matter of seconds, and a grain silo on the Turkish coast that suddenly exploded in the middle of the day. Here are 10 extreme moments caught on security camera. On May 27th of 2022, a little girl was playing outside when her father noticed the storm coming through. He went out on the porch to gather loose items, hoping not to lose them in the wind. But things picked up quickly, and the father ran out of time. He and his little girl narrowly made it inside before the storm ripped their backyard to pieces. Maybe dad should have brought the girl inside first before gathering his things. Thankfully, neither of them were standing on the porch when a tree fell through their fence. The glitchy video makes it tough to see the exact moment, but these before and after shots paint a clear picture. Hopefully, the damage wasn't too bad and their homeowner's insurance covered it. Vinh, Vietnam is one of the country's most important cities. It serves as a critical point on the east-west economic corridor, linking Vietnam to Laos, Thailand, and Myanmar. It's a bustling city that's always looking to expand through construction. On October 9th of 2023, one of those construction projects went horribly wrong. A crew arrived to do some repair work on a large house. However, something slipped and one of the roof beams collapsed. The workers watched helplessly as gravity took over. Everyone inside was lucky they decided to vacate the room. Imagine if that young man with the backpack had simply stopped to tie his shoe. According to the homeowner, the construction crew was acting irresponsibly up on the roof. We're not sure what that means, but it probably isn't good. It only took 10 years from the Wright brothers' first flight for people to start performing aerobatics, also known as stunt flying. In 1913, a French pilot was the first to fly inverted. That same year, a Russian pilot completed the first loop. Ever since, planes have gotten faster and the stunts have gotten riskier. Now, modern pilots like to see how far they can push things as their planes break the sound barrier. Take these stuntmen from Bangladesh, who pushed the envelope a little too far. It's May 9th of 2024. In the distance, you can see a Yakovlev Yak-130 approaching at lightning speed. That's when the pilot attempts a risky triple aileron roll, but winds up bouncing off the tarmac. Let's watch that again in slow motion. Just as he's coming out of the second roll, his fuselage scrapes along the ground. You can see pieces flying off as these two kids on bikes start pedaling for their lives. The pilot managed to pull up, but his Russian-made jet was a lost cause. He navigated over the Karnafuli River and ejected as the engine caught fire. Allah 
Sadly, one of the pilots lost their life in the accident, while the other remained in critical condition. We're not sure if the injuries were related to the plane fire or if they were suffered in the water. Before this video came out, the Bangladesh Air Force tried to claim that the plane experienced a mechanical failure. This viral clip exposed the lie, proving that a needless stunt was to blame. Dos Hermanas, Spain is a small town about 9 miles south of Seville. It's home to about 131,000 people, several of whom work for the Alu Europa Aluminum Company. They specialize in aluminum extrusion, which is when aluminum alloy is forced through a die with a specific cross-sectional profile. Think of it like squeezing toothpaste from a tube. On June 2nd of 2022, workers were going about their business when something went catastrophically wrong with one of their machines. A gasket burst, causing flammable hydraulic oil to spew into the air. Watch how quickly this factory goes up in flames. Now keep your eye on the blue machine in the middle of your screen. The hydraulics come down, but something goes wrong, and the line breaks. Highly flammable hydraulic oil starts spraying all over the factory. It ignites upon striking the molten hot aluminum bars. Now, Before you start accusing him, the guy with the blowtorch had nothing to do with it. The workers scramble, and the fire gets bigger as more oil rains down. One of them runs back for his cell phone before both men evacuate off camera. Within seconds, the room fills with smoke, and the roof starts collapsing. All that oil was like dousing a campfire in lighter fluid. Thankfully, nobody got hurt during the fire. The local fire department got it under control after it had burned about three quarters of the building. From what we can gather, the damage was too severe to determine an exact cause. Bad luck probably had something to do with it. Even though it's one of the wealthiest countries in Asia, Thailand is notorious for having some of the most dangerous roads in the world. According to one report, Thailand builds its roads with mobility rather than safety in mind. This causes them to deteriorate faster and sometimes collapse. On April 6th of 2024, a father-son duo learned how dangerous these Thai roads can be. While trying to ride their motorcycle outside of Bangkok, a massive sinkhole opened, nearly swallowing them whole. Now You can't see due to the blur, but there's a small child on the front of the dad's bike. He's simply trying to back up and merge with traffic when the ground suddenly opens below him. By some miracle, his tires get stuck in a crack which prevents them from sliding in. That's when several bystanders come to the rescue and pull the boy to safety. Dad, however, seems more concerned about his bike. He only gets off when someone agrees to help pull it out. Lucky for them, they saved the bike without hurting themselves. Meanwhile, someone filmed the rescue attempt on their smartphone. Thankfully, nobody got hurt when the road collapsed. The shop owner whose CCTV footage we just watched was afraid their business would fall in next. Sinkholes like this are all too common in Thailand. You have to watch where you step, especially in poorer neighborhoods. Clinton, North Carolina is a small city in Sampson County. It's home to about 8,300 people, many of whom send their kids to Union Intermediate Elementary School. January 13th of 2020 began as a normal Monday. Some fifth grade students were hanging out in the gym and shooting hoops after school when a freak microburst storm appeared out of nowhere. It sounded like something exploded outside. Then they were all running for cover. Keep your eyes on the red curtain. Everything seems fine at first. But then it starts blowing as the roof gets torn off. The wall quickly caves in, sending a wave of debris toward the fleeing kids. Once the storm settles, you can see what's left of the torn up curtain. Microbursts are sudden columns of sinking air that can cause hurricane-like damage. In this case, wind speeds topped between 80 and 85 miles per hour. It was enough to knock the wall down and uproot several trees outside. Three of the kids were struck with debris but only suffered minor injuries. The school shut down on Tuesday to assess the damage, and classes didn't resume until later that week. Mm -hmm. 
Derinje, Turkey is an important seaport city in Kocaeli province. It's home to one of two ports under the direct control of the Turkish government. It's also one of the area's only ports with railway connections. This is all to say that Derinje is crucial to Turkey's economy and international trade. When a grain silo exploded in 2023, everyone was paying attention. CCTV cameras were rolling on August 7th of 2023. What began as a typical workday quickly descended into chaos when fire consumed the city of Derinje. According to reports, the explosion occurred due to wheat dust compression during the transfer of wheat from a ship to the silo. At the time, Turkey was going through an intense heat wave. Pressure built up and only had one place to go. Based on this aftermath footage, it looks like the silos survived the blast. For the most part, thousands of pounds of grain leaked from the bottom like somebody tipped a sand bucket over. Sadly, 12 people were injured during the explosion, three of whom were in critical condition. Alpharetta, Georgia is a small city in Fulton County, about 26 miles north of Atlanta. It's home to roughly 57,000 people and one mother who's extremely quick on her feet. July 10th of 2020 was supposed to be a relaxing summer's day by the pool. Mom was relaxing and reading on her iPad while her boys swam in the backyard. That's when she heard something crack above her head. Her backyard security cameras captured the rest. The tree landed right on top of her sun chair. Had she delayed for even a fraction of a second, she could have been a goner. In fact, the branch was so heavy that it bent the metal fence behind her chair. Looking back, you can see the moment when her son notices the tree falling and tells his mom to get out of the way. Commenters quickly pointed out his heroics, saying he likely saved his mom's life. This aftermath photo shows how bad it could have been. The trunk landed right where her New York Yankees hat would have been. Hunan province is the largest state in south-central China. It's home to about 66 million people spread across an area about the size of Kansas. For the record, that'd be like multiplying the current population of Kansas by 22. On February 7th of 2024, a man was standing outside in Hunan shortly after a significant snowstorm. Hundreds of pounds of ice and snow had gathered on the roof above his head. Lucky for him, his spidey senses kicked in when he heard something crack. We're guessing this wasn't Spider-Man's first rodeo. He knew to get out of the way when he heard the ominous sound. Most people would have just looked up to see what it was. While he probably would have been okay, getting covered in snow isn't the best way to start your Wednesday morning. The Chinese city of Nanyang is home to about 9.7 million residents, and on this occasion, one individual who made a very poor choice. Someone definitely should have taken this man's car keys before he decided to drive. Back on January 7th of 2021, a local man decided to have a few drinks and then hop behind the wheel of his car. Let's just say it didn't take him long to learn why this was a bad idea. I'm surprised that thin steel cable was enough to hold the weight of the car like that. The driver crawled out of the window and seemed alright, 
You can tell he's drunk by how he's stumbling around in the road. A bit later, police arrived and gave him a breathalyzer test and took him into custody. We were not able to determine what happened from that point. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. As always, thank you for watching and be sure to tune in next time.